Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. You know, with the advent of the circumstances that just happened with the death of Steve Jobs, and everyone's talking about that, I can't help but also reflect on the fact that something very important what he said is to live your life as though it's the last day you've got. And I mentioned that earlier this week, and it really does come home. When you really stop to think about it, if you're living your life in the way that is not happy, that is not fulfilling, that is not something that inspires you, one of your greatest purposes in life is not being met. And that's not just to make yourself happy, but always remember in our lives, every day we're affecting other people too, whether it's our children, our spouses, or our relatives, or the people we work with. If we're unhappy, that reflects on everyone else as well. They feel that vibration coming off you and what happens is there's this gloom and doom in the air because you're not happy. If we live our life each day as though it's our last, metaphorically speaking, what's going to happen is we're going to put more purpose into what we're doing. We're going to put more purpose into our decisions and really think about some of the things we do. Most of the time in our life, we're just moving through it. and We think, well, we got a lot of time. Uh, we can do that tomorrow. We can do that next year. We can do that someday. And as I mentioned before, someday is right now. And I guess one of the reasons I keep bringing this up is I run into people all the time that come and visit with me or I visit with people that have run out of time. And they're always saying that they wish they'd have done certain things and wouldn't have worked as hard and not put as much meaning into making money. Even though we have to have money to survive, I understand that. But a lot of us put way too much meaning into the process of doing that. And we cut ourselves short on our own abilities to generate money or income through our talents and skills. We think we have to work for someone or someone else has to pay us in a job. And that's not necessarily true. In the new America that's being developed, in the new world that's coming right at us, many of the jobs we used to have are not going to be there anymore. We're going to be required to come up with a new way to support ourselves. In doing that, if you live your moment in the moment and really appreciate your life and who you are and value your skills and your talents and your capabilities, you're going to be much more able to provide for your family and also be creative because of less stress and come up with new ideas, new inventions, new ways of doing things that are going to be commercially acceptable and viable in a new market. So I guess the message today is real simple. If you're unhappy, if you're doing things today that you don't like to do, Let's take a look at that. And what can you do that's going to be different? What could you do to change your attitude about it? Sometimes that's all it is, is just the way we look at it. You know, I know many people right now that have jobs, and they're actually very high paying jobs, but they're griping and complaining about them all the time because something there is not happening for them that they want to have happen. It doesn't feel good to them. Well, the thing I have to tell those people is, first of all, what are you doing to create that? And then what can you do in that job to either reinvent it or reorganize it or help the management of the company come up with new ideas that will make everything better? Maybe that pressure you're feeling is about you not opening up your mouth and actually coming up with some new ideas where you're expecting everyone else to do it for you. That's leadership. So today, let's take a look at those things. If you're working for yourself, it's the same thing. If you're working for yourself, you really have no excuse. Do something you love to do. Makes life worth living. So until next week, this is Dr. Gary. Also, let's get on that cruise. I'm enjoying watching people signing up for that. We only have limited space. So, wow. I want you to come along with me. I want to spend some time with you. I want to get to know some of the people that are watching the tune-ups that I don't already know. So sign up. That link is right here on the drgary.tv website. You have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.